Most people don't realize that Google Earth can save files in two different formats, KML and KMZ. KML files are plain text files that contain the XML tags that create the features you see in Google Earth. Let's take a look at a simple one, prog.kml. This is just a single placemark in Prague, the capital of the Czech Republic. Because KML files are plain text, you can easily edit them in a text editor like Notepad++. By dragging this into Notepad++, you can see the XML tags that make up this placemark, and it's easy to edit things like the name and the location. This makes KML the ideal format while you're developing your Google Earth projects and before you're ready to publish them for other people to see. When you are ready to distribute your project, it's best to save your files as KMZs, which is a compressed or zipped KML file. KML files can also contain images, icons, 3D models, and other files that are linked to from your KML. This means that instead of pointing to an image on the internet in your placemarks description, you can bundle it up with the KMZ so it can be viewed offline. Let's go ahead and take a look at this KMZ, which is called prog.kmz. Let's go ahead and delete our old placemark. And if you click on this new placemark, you can see that we have a screenshot of a 3D model. To look inside a KMZ file, you need a program that can open and create zip files, like 7-Zip on Windows or Stuff It Expander on Mac. By dragging that KMZ onto 7-Zip, we can actually look inside of it. Here you can see that there are a couple of things. A doc.kml file, which is just a plain KML document for that one placemark, and also a files folder. And inside the files folder, you can see a screenshot. This is what you see here in the description. It's automatically packaged up in the KMZ, so it can be viewed offline. If you don't have to include lots of pictures, icons, or models in your KMZ, it's often best to link to files that are available directly on the internet. This video tutorial will show you first how to link to images that are hosted on a website and save it as a KMZ without bundling those files. And the second video will show you how to include these images directly in a KMZ so that your project can be self-contained and viewable offline. Let's get started.